Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things. But that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you Louis Lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do Lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. Teteor starts tossing bombs left and right, and you didn't move an inch. Why didn't you do something? I analyzed every survival scenario before the first grenade hit the ground. Survival odds were greatest if I did nothing. Ha! Your survival or our collective survival? Yes. There was, however, no scenario in which this poorly rated establishment would have survived, even if TDR hadn't destroyed it. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I, I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh yeah, that's good source. Entering power sleep. Great, awesome. My workplace is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing.
Octavia! Ah! Ah! On here? Day keeps getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's good in the hood? I was worried about you. It's not safe here. Not safe? Here? There's an invasion going, and you nearly got blown up, and... Oh. You're making fun of me. Listen, I know things between us haven't been... Ooh, friendly? Loving? Respectful? Existent? Ideal. But can we please at least talk about this? Not in the epicenter of an invasion! Putting aside her ego and ambition to look out for her little brother. Classic Anu! That totally tracks with you ditching me here, by the way. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. I've had a day. A fun day? No, a not fun day. A running for my life day. Ah, yeah, those days happen here. Look, I get it, you don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yeah. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> oh, damn, Anu. You're a nice cold killer now! Shut up! Murder! Murder! If you don't shut it, I'll murder you! It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your bro has killed tons of haters in his day. It's all part of playing the business game. I'm not interested in whatever your business is, and I'm certainly not playing anyone's game. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. That doesn't make any sense. Well, so glad you two have each other. Because this is all I have left. I'm Fran, by the way. I own this place. Or I did, when it was still a place. And not a ratchberry flavored hole in the ground. She's stable, right? <laughs> Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu, my sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas! Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No, oh well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, Malawan TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want, you move on. You're the big people, and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. 
You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. Sure. Okay. You don't build guns. You just carry them around with you? What's your deal? Anxiety. And science. Mostly anxiety. Got my eye on you. I can live with that. I will live with that. I just want to live. <laughs> Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. No! You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me? Friend sure does. Like me a friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Well, he's never been caught stealing, and technically that's all that matters. Bam! See? They don't catch me. It never happened. Great. That's that's exactly the sort of inspirational, ethical, moral compass I was hoping you'd have. Much like this last carton of cuckoo coconut, we take what we're left with. Oh, slag it, it's empty. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Yes, we just confirmed that you clearly, definitely steal. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like, a radio. Tidior comm. Octavio's pocket. Friend! A, a Tidior comm's device? How the heck did you get this? Well, it's a complicated story. I, uh... Stole it. Friend! Octavio! Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, whatever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> They're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Your sister is correct. You probably will be. You want to get back in the good graces of Reese and the payrolls of Atlas, right? I don't know. Of course you do. You're an overachieving sucker. Oh, in a good way. Thanks. If we snag the vault treasure, the treasure from Atlas's stolen vault key, yeah, yeah, stealing is wrong. But stealing from thieves? You'll save Atlas's ass and be their golden girl again. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are ya? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that's, that, that, that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? 
Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was gonna say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I gotta run, cause, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're gonna... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDO has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDR comms. Got it. You definitely have not. Balking at the first sign of danger. She's just another spineless Atlas tool. She won't stand up for you. She can't barely stand up for herself. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? Boop, boop. My shop is gone. I lost my temper. But I just need to sit somewhere quiet and visualize the pulp I'll beat Susan Coldwell into if I had the chance. I've lost enough to know the most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is Tidior. She's the CEO of the Big Cheese. And? We steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under Tidior's nose. You sock a wallet to Tidior, translate a property, you sock a wallet to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. You always know how to weasel someone with words. Lovable weasel? Eh. All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero U13 makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I have designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other, and scores your camaraderie from one out of ten skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Whoa, what an awesome way to create team unity. Great work, Louis. Flattery will not improve your teamwork score. It only appears... What's the human phrase? Thirsty. What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 5 out of 10 skateboards. Absolutely neutral. The three of you might as well be total strangers. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all.
guys. I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athletes you wear. Agreed. And it's eco friendly. Really? There's something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Oh, we'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TDR is heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The Lycra really supports my delicates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices, the faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. <laughs> It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! You've got a secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <sighs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we talk about something we definitely won't see? Got it. Fucko! Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron! Decent friend. <laughs> Do you wanna die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDR troops. How do you know that? Uh, I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever would he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? Stealth? Like shooting them quietly? Uh-uh. Like not shooting at all. Oh. Uh, okay. I guess. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. Well, just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody swats us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you need. Good to be back on Promethea, huh? Guess you're the tiebreaker, sis. What do you want to do? No hard feelings either way, even if you choose a complete stranger over your own brother. There's really no wrong choice here. Maybe just a writer choice. Friend. Or Octavio! Octavio! Or friend. Who's it gonna be? Just a polite reminder that we're on a time-sensitive mission here, and your input is currently critical. Let's, uh, maybe try not to murder people? 
crude. All right then. Follow my lead. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. Look, I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then, when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise! I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. So weird. Guy in a box. No! <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait! Does that mean, uh, I'm not who you're looking for? I disagree. Is, is that a... No, it couldn't be. Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vault landers must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat. You wanna... fight? Indeed I do. Will versus will. Vault lander to Vault lander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior code. But if I win, your vault lander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come down! Select your ball lander. Critical. 
Mommy, I'm scared! your combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Your soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Right now, they're more vulnerable than we are. We should keep it that way. So let them get closer and closer to the vault because... Because Tidior may not be the worst thing lurking around here, and whoever has the vault key is going to be the primary target. If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer? We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. No. Let's go. Rightfully ours to steal. We gotta get in there. Wait! Oh boy. We better call for backup. Confirmed. Going for backup. It's okay! No big deal! 
just a couple of alien warriors. Pretty sure they didn't see us. <laughs> Thank you, Fran. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we're done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. We've come this far, we can't just leave. Are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, Anu, I've sunk a fallacy before. Uh... We're safer here than out there, or back in the sewers. In fact, this is the safest we've been in hours. The only way out is through. Kid's got a point. Wait. I got it! What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet ratch, Juniper, will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? Mm. I wouldn't. Would. Not. I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Ah. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. Right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. <sighs> You're right. Friend should be here.
miss me? It's... No! Anyway, look! All that effort and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? Quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound eating device or something? Can you hear me? Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally, both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Oh, I could use a Frogurt right now. Still nothing? That's cool. Keep looking. Juniper thinks you're doing a great job, by the way. <laughs> Need a professional rune wall inscription service? Call Vinny and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See? I bet the treasure's in here. Who the heck keeps an empty chest in a vault? Eureka! A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? You know what? Don't overthink it, Annie. Maybe you just gotta think like treasure. Like, if I were treasure, where would I hide? Now, what else can I find? 
friendly reminder. More of those alien robot bastards could portal in here at any moment, but hey, take your time. No pressure. Better translate this. Treasure circle. Guys! I think we hit the jackpot! Come on, sis. Taco. We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure. Shower? Ah, damn the brakes. Why would they even have a garbage shower? They are an ancient alien race. We will never understand them. I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavio sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. Man, I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit!
even like the little guy had it handled. I uh, suggest we split up. It can't get all of us. Probably. It probably can't. No, no, I don't think so. girl. Is that really how you want to go? In the belly of a bolt monster? There are worse ways. You really want to die before you can make TD or pay. You die now, you die a loser. You hear me? A poor, unconventionally attractive loser. That's right. You hear that, Susan Coldwell? You're next. You come after me, you gon' get God. Is it really dead? Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy. I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. Wasn't near as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe we'll be all right. Stop! Don't jinx it. Don't be superstitious. If it's truly dead, what could possibly go wrong? Stop with the jinxing! What in the what? Thingy it's got in its tongue. I don't think it's in its tongue. I think he's cradling it with its tongue, sort of protecting it. I mean, I respect it. That's some next level's tongue work. That's gross. And besides the point, I think it's healing him. We need to get it out of that monster's mouth. I... I have a plan. I was worried we were all gonna die. Now we're gonna die with a plan. Nice. So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. And the big plan is... <gasps> you want me to see if I can romance it, right? 
Octavio, you need to distract the monster for Fran. My Octavio sense is telling me that's super dangerous. It is. Fran needs to get a clean shot of that tongue with her freeze ray. When it's frozen, you knock the shot loose with your signature Fran punchy punch. You have suspiciously little to do with this plan. You one of those idea women? I'll be prepping my Iridium device for a Mega Blast. When the shard is free, I'll send the rest of the monster on a nice little vacation far, far away. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling, he realizes. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! I wish I heard more tacos! They're great last words. Gotta stick with what works. You ever eat a taco? I have. They're delicious. <laughs> it slimes me. I feel like I'm getting eaten by condiments. Gross. Still alive. All parts accounted for. Glad you're alive, but you need to leave! Where is friend? In position! Great! Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no. You need to keep distracting it! That thing nearly ate me alive! Yes! Great! Now I need you to get almost eaten again! <sighs> Kinda scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go! <sighs> hey, ugly! Looking for me? <laughs> I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. I missed. Gonna need a closer shot at that thing. Great! How am I supposed to get away from this thing now? <sighs> oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Daddy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you? <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one. Now, Octavio, move those feet! Sure, they get to cheerlead while I run for my life. <laughs> to 
Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now. Don't make me get scared now, Octavio! Pop, what we doing? That's right, keep running! One vault monster coming up! Voyage. Enjoy your vacation to somewhere else. That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me, and not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey, we got to get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. Right? That was... So we're like Vault Hunters now! We're a triple-digit body count short of being actual Vault Hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to... defeat a space god! Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint! I think this crystal is the Vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know, just... When I touched it, I... saw something. It felt something. Like something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something. Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Coldwell's ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we 
Got all the leverage. Then we're just getting to the hard part. So, they chase us, we outrun them. This isn't just gonna be a chase, handsome. We impacted their bottom line something fierce. They find out it was us, they're going to war. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Vault Lander warrior would never break a bond forts in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. Something. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. 